all-important home win here for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. We are ready to go. Matt Potter's got the ball in hand. Federico, Federico wins the tap against Rodney Howard. <laughs> and away we go. Kelly off the bounce. Forced into a tough shot. And able to run down his own miss in a fresh 20. Line drive triple goes for Moore. And welcome back, Jalen Moore. He's got to shoot him. Stay confident. Eventually they'll go in. Just take and make good shots. Henson. He's been an explosive scorer <laughs> as well. The fifth-year senior, yeah. 16 and 7 a game. First team choices later on here during the game. Off the turnover from Kelly. Hints it ahead of the pack. And he gets blocked by Jalen Moore. Guys are out here just toughening it up. No doubt. Here's Coleman on the drive. Down the lane, met by Federico. And Pitt runs again. In that win against Pitt on Wednesday, an eight-point victory for the Blue Devils at Cameron. Quick trigger at the other end, and that's Debo Coleman, and that's more what you expect from him. <laughs> Rhythm taking shots. True or false, you know that because you left your backpack here. I did, and he let me back in the building, so <laughs> that's the great thing. His first career double-double. Terry Smith into the lane, bounces for Smith, who connects. <laughs> Kelly zipped that pass. Now Smith can't hit his second. Santos clears it. And when you beat a good team like Miami, you just feel like you know you how good you can be. Kelly gives it up for Debo Coleman. Coleman gets to the mid post. Coleman through some contact, gets the roll. It's a great finish with the left hand there by Debo. You know, you want to see him play well when you're the guy putting that kind of extra work. You want to see him rewarded. And so far, Debo, Debo's been rewarded with his efforts early here in the game. Sabandi knocks it down. Shot clocks at 10. Jalen Moore with it at the elbow on a handoff for Smith. Backs up on Diaz Graham and knocks down another jump shot. Offensive just has a rebound yeah. for Diaz Graham. Elliott spinning on Sturdivant for a tough two here in this first half as Pitt leads by four midway through the first half. But the good thing about this group, again, as we said, they're not dependent upon one guy. Debo knocks down his second three pointer in the corner. And a long rebound to Terry. Start of it. Step back on Hello. Burton. That is nice from Pal Start of it. Shot clock below 10. Josh Passner's fired up, barking at his defense. Sabandi goes off the bounce to the rim. Strong take on Franklin. Let's we'll see what Pitt does in their half court execution right now. I think they're shooting the ball really quickly. Again? Yeah, I mean, they're just taking quick shots and they're not set. The defensive transition is set. Great chase down block there. Jackets fans have heard this throughout yes. the seven-year tenure of, of Josh Pastner, but it's shape-shifting defense, and it's tough to ID what they're going to do. So well, Andy was wide open. Yeah, that was, that was a defensive mistake there. He's showing you his athletic ability. Start of it. Boy, he's had three good looks in a row. Tipped out by Howard. Coleman loads and hits. At Georgia Tech, plus five rebounding. They have six offensive rebounds already, and now Howard scores from the block. Sabandi gives it up Elliott, and now Burton matched up with Sturdivant. He Javarius just overpowers those smaller guards. Yep. He's just so physical, and even at that size, they just got to be physically being able to match his physicality. Sturdivant out for Kelly, and he hits. That is a sixth three for Georgia Tech. Kelly. Has it go off his foot into the arms of Sabandi, who pushes. Nike Sabandi in the open floor gets the roll. Just, they, you know, you just need a couple of guys to play. You got to hurt this team on the offensive glass. Smith turns the corner and lays it in. Still a great look. Start of it. Back out to the corner for Tristan Maxwell, who gets involved with a seven. Jackets three. Yeah, that's a that's a high stand. I'm gonna lean on dad, give it to dad for right now, but <laughs> Tristan definitely can shoot it. Savandi is feeling it. Nike Savandi's third three has him up to 14. Reckon <laughs> Coach Cape was man to man played it. He just drew up in the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be ready for that against Josh Pastner. <laughs> Burton drives to the cup for two. Jamarius Burton's up to 10. So now Smith speeds ahead of the pack. Pulls up into contact. Great defense by Burton. Howard kept it alive. And Sturdivant knocks it down. 
That's the third time tonight. 12 second chance points here in this first half. And he's just been all, I mean, his impact on this game has been amazing. Elliott with the baseline cut, missed it. Federico follows for two. Sturdivant off the bounce. Got a switch from Federico. Sturdivant off the mark. Federico the rebound. Pent leading by two. Can get the last shot. Henson off the bounce with a scoop to the cup. Georgia Tech looking for its second ECC win off the Heartbreaker Tuesday. Off the Tech turnover, it's Henson barreling to the cup. Your second time here this year? No complaints. Get to hang out on the visiting bench, you know it well. <laughs> oh, good tip on the follow from Javon Franklin. Pitts content on allow, and they want to see Georgia Tech make those shots again. I don't think they trust that Georgia Tech consistently make those shots like they did in the first half. Just telling the team, move the ball. Let, let the match up. Let the ball dictate who attacks. Cummings, Hoist, and hits. Five in a row for Nelly Cummings. Timeout, Georgia Tech. They got to weather this storm here and try to get back in this game. Don't let it get away from them. Post entry to Henson and a good block by Rodney Howard helping. I think Rodney Howard's had a heck of a game. His yeah. activity on the defensive end has just been great. Getting his hands on balls. There's another one. Another rebound for Howard. And a stop. 4.7 rebounds for the 6'11 big from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Sabandi on a strong take. He has been excellent. Mikey has been a bucket here. Kelly drills one. He's the guy. He's the guy we talked about. He can get going. He can fill it up in a hurry. Tristan Maxwell is talking with Blake Henson as they are barking back and forth at one another. <laughs> That's a great rule. That's just the way it is. Maxwell took a wild shot. Start of it, kicks for Maxwell. He hits. Talk your talk, Maxwell. Talk your talk, Tristan. Let him know. Henson comes up short. Smith, another rebound. He's got 10 of them at six foot one. Smith off the bounce, hangs and hits. He's so difficult to handle when he comes at you with a full head of steam. He's got three blocks. He had just come back in for that possession defensively, replacing Guillermo Diaz-Graham. Burton through the contact, and he's got a chance to stamp a three-point play. Four or five teams. Very early, but right now Joe Lenardi does have them, and rightly so, oh, deservedly so. as a tournament team. Good pass from Maxwell underneath to Howard. Five-point margin. Pitt leads midway through the second half. Cummings. Boy, he is so balanced on his mid-range jump shot. He has struggled to find his footing here throughout this game. Shot clock is winding down. It's Cummings again. The switching that Georgia Tech is doing and easy drive and finish there at the rim. Maxwell Hello. got it to go <laughs> and the foul. Look at him, he's driving. Hey, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Look at just throw it up off the glass and one. Jeff Cape was a little bit upset. Coleman couldn't finish that basket there. Had a great look. Now Smith with a good look, and that was much needed for Georgia Tech. Making it, make, making it a difficult catch. Did that again there on Smith, who turned the corner. Federico stood him up. Sabandi pushes on the drive. Sabandi, oh, wow. the finish and the foul. And with the year roll step and his best Kyrie Irving impersonation, putting Pitt up seven. They go back to Cummings. Shot clock at five. Sturdivant is on Cummings. Off the ball screen. Nelly Cummings down the lane off the glass. It's always tough. And I think as a guard, I just try to you want them to get to the free throw line. And great shot, great move, great poise. Go to Tech's got to go quick. They're not built to play that way, but now they're running out of time, and you got to make quick decisions and get it back quick. You don't have time to keep running offense. Terry, smooth shot, 52 seconds left. They, I think they found their identity, and they're going to be a tough out. I mean, these guys can score. They got multiple playmakers, and not all of them played great tonight, but enough for them to possibly come out of here with a win. Just a great job by Pitt coming in, just doing what they've been doing all year. Coach Capel told us there was no panic. The team was cool, calm, collected. They were going to get back to details of doing the little things.